Uh, hello, this is PA Camping Dad, Doug. Uh, do a short video on uh, the Element Wood Stove with a Fly's Grill. Uh, available from Dutchware. So I thought I'd quickly go through the whole process I do for making a fire with the uh, Element Wood Stove. Well, normally I find all I need is a branch or two off of trees that uh, have some low dead branches uh, like this that are still on the tree nice and dry I'm not sure how all this is going to turn out but... a larger one move on through the woods a little bit. I saw those branches earlier. Didn't realize they were as high as they were. But it's very easy to find a few low dead branches, even in areas that are picked over really well. will certainly be all I need. And uh, in this case I'm uh, cooking a steak. Uh, I did this last weekend on a hike with the scouts and it worked out very well. I did bring a couple charcoal briquettes with me and I Today I'm going to use one. Uh, so I've got a handful of small branches that I just grabbed. Try to set it up here. Okay. This is my uh, element oh. wood stove. And it, uh, Ganny, you don't have to be in. Come here. You're going to get in the way. Mrs. Gannett's. Yes, it's nothing to eat. Come on. No. So this is in a pouch that uh, made by 2QZQ. Another one of our great uh, cottage industry people on the hammock forms. And... Uh, I also have a little fire starter that I normally keep a couple of. There's the Tarp Flies Grill. And the Element Wood Stove. Actually, uh, I keep a folded up uh, bottom of a disposable roasting pan in case I'm working on a picnic table uh, just to prevent from scorching the table. So now, since I'm on a rock, I won't need that. Set up the element wood stove. Very easy. This is uh, this one's had a lot of use, and bottom gets a little warped, but it's very easy to get into position. somebody walking around the block. Yeah, also I think thinks I'm talking to somebody and can't figure it out. Alright, there's the wood stove fully assembled. Now we don't need a dog nose in it. Okay. Back off. So the way I like to light this wood stove is I get a handful of sticks just long enough to lay in the bottom and make a bed. And I like the basis of an upside down fire. And this is so that as they 
smaller pieces catch, the embers fall down in and and also when I drop the uh, piece of fire starter down in there, it's not going to waste at all, it's all working on something right from the start. So that's enough. I got a full base in there, just the whole bottom of it lined fairly, fairly uniformly, not real critical. Then I prepare at least a couple handfuls of these small pieces to get us going. Again, just about the size of your hand it seems perfect, so it makes it for very easy preparation. Go ahead and snap up these. And as far as starting it, uh, I've been using these uh, makeup remover pads soaked in uh, some wax. And if you have one of those little wax melting candles, your wife likes it if you clean them out. When the one is done and it's just perfect, you see, take those pads and wipe the bottom of the tray with a few pads and you have a fire starter. It's all set. I found for the most part about a quarter of one of these pads is plenty to get going. And uh, today I just have a lighter, uh, but it's also, you f if you don't soak them too much in wax, uh, there's enough cotton uh, fibers left there to uh, catch with a flint and steel, which uh, I often use to start. And, uh, we'll just do the lighter method today. Get it established. I drop it in there. And then you don't want to go too, uh, you know, you don't want to smother it by dropping a whole lot in right away. Uh, it helps if they're a little, uh, to get the full air going. As you see, those uh, makeup remover pads provide a really nice uh, flame to get going. And that will be it. So what I'll do is I'll uh, let this go for a while and I will add uh, one charcoal briquette that I split in half just to uh, try that method. So we'll let this burn down a bit and we'll be back. Well, I let it flare all the way up once. Um, and get those uh, briquettes going in there and I did uh, throw the grill on for a little bit and uh, just rubbed it with some nice sticks because uh, I didn't really clean it up too much after last time but uh, just bake everything off of it works fine um, see fits really perfectly for the, the grill. So I like to put it on, get it nice and heated up. There's uh, the charcoal, looks like it's pretty much fully glowing now. Only one of them is. The other one will be soon. So we'll get the, get the grill fully heated up so we get a good char pattern in our steak because that's one of the fun parts of this is to see your tarp flies that uh, Dutch is so famous for. Um, if you haven't seen my video on hanging a tarp with uh, Dutch wear using a Dutch hook and a tarp fly, flies I guess he calls them, uh, 
I think it's just a fantastic way to rig up a tarp for uh, a hammock or any other uh, time you want a continuous ridge line and a tarp. And uh, I'll have to double check if I'm wrong, but I believe all this is available. I, kn I know all this is available from Dutch's website. Uh, I believe it's dutchware.com. I'll have to double check if that's the right address. He's a really great guy and uh, reasonable priced products, reasonable shipping, and uh, can't go wrong. So when I backpacked, I uh, carried in a frozen steak and uh, just wrapped it in a, had it in a plastic bag to make sure it wouldn't sweat and uh, mess up anything. Um, and just uh, had it wrapped around a bandana and some paper towels just to keep it insulated. I could have put it on a cozy, but I uh, actually, and I was correct, when I got to camp, it was still frozen solid, so I had to take it out of the wrappings um, before cooking. We're actually the cutoffs from the steak. I'm gonna trim one of them a little smaller so it'll fit on the grill. When I went backpacking, I had one that was cut perfectly to fill the whole grill. For the purposes of this, we'll keep one smaller one on. One of the nice things about this uh, element wood stove that I really like is uh, the ability to feed larger wood uh, into the port. Also. Uh, Great way to get some more airflow if it's needed. Don't really have many issues with this wood, but uh, you can work it this way and just keep feeding the wood in every so often. I kind of like to do a mix of dropping things down from the top and uh, and the side feed. Normally, if I can snap it in my hand, I do. You know, if it's Tougher to snap, but feed it in the side. Yeah. Let this cook for a while and uh, make sure we get a good sear pattern on it and we'll unveil it when we flip it. All right. Uh, it's time to flip. Uh, all I really do is take a, one of my sticks to make sure the grill doesn't lift up on me. But, uh, well, the flies pattern wasn't really distinct. But uh, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I guess if I had heated up the grill more, that's just a fun side for it. Uh, you see it's just about perfect size for one burger. Uh, I haven't cooked them yet on it, but the other thing that's nice about it is if you do have a smaller pot, uh, you don't need to carry those little uh, small pot titanium pieces that come with the element um, and risk losing them. You can just sit it on top of the tarp flies grill. It works great. Uh, that I have done. Well, that's about it. Uh, you can see these work really well. Uh, on the trail, you pack one of your little salt packets 
and uh, you have a meal that make the other campers jealous, that's for sure. Not quite ready to feed more. Well, first one done. Very nice. It is delicious. Well, I highly recommend the uh, both the Element Wood Stove and the Flies Grill. Wow. I guess for me, the reason that I decided to try to do the uh, wood versus uh, butane or alcohol, no, not so much alcohol, but the scouts weren't discouraged alcohol use. So I really like the quietness of the wood stove, and I like playing with fire, and that gives me both of those so easy you can see how easy it is to get your fire going and boil a pot of water normally two branches is all it takes the total weight of my uh, little pouch there with everything that's a fairly heavy duty pouch uh, the grill the stove and a couple uh, at least one of those uh, fire starters was 196 grams I weighed it before I came out um, so I really like the solution I normally carry uh, if I'm by myself and not with the scouts I carry uh, a couple ounces of alcohol in case it's just miserable or in the morning I don't feel like gathering wood uh, do something get some coffee quick um, but I really enjoy making the fire in this way. Well, I highly recommend it. And you can see it works great. Get out there and have fun. Bye.